Hey everyone, it's Electra Llama, here with another campaigns video. Last time the Kirbyites and the Kirbykins faced off to see who can send the first Kerbals into space. This time they're sending technology into space, like this one here, the Orbit Set, which is going to be the first long-term satellite in Kerbal orbit, setting up communication systems with other places in Kerbal. The Orbit Set one comes with a new launch system to send it into a higher, more stable Kerbal orbit going to go up and do a 100 kilometer orbit and then it's going to burn to get into an even higher 300 kilometer orbit. Here's a view of it at launch from the launch cam, launch vehicle deploying. And here's a view from the whole cam. Now the orbit set went up to 100 kilometer orbit. And something went wrong. It accidentally deployed at 100 kilometers when it should have deployed at 300 kilometers. So now the orbit sat 2 is going up into the orbit following their original flight plan using new engineering tools to reach a nice circular 300 kilometer orbit. You can see that they're burning away from Kerbin to a circularized orbit. It's a new trick learned by the Kerbal engineers. And there we go, there's the successful launch of the orbit set. Now to set up even more communication systems, the Kerbicans launch the commsats 1, 2, and 3. Now these are going to go in a very high orbit. It's going to be in a Kerbocentric orbit, which is the height where the orbit of the satellites matches the rotation of the Kerbin. Now these could have been launched separately, but to save on time and resources, the Kerbicans decided to launch them all in one vehicle. So this will be an interesting test of the Kerbal engineering and orbital mechanics. But we're going to go ahead and try it anyways. Now the launch vehicle also has to have a recovery system. That's why there are parachutes on the boosters. See the boosters deploying on the whole fan. Reaching a higher orbit its final stages. Now once it's achieved the right apoapsis, Orbitsat launches the smaller vehicles. The smaller vehicles will be in slightly different orbits so that they can be equally spaced along the Kerbocentric orbit. This will ensure a global communication system. The satellites will also be positioned so that at noon daily the Comsat 1 will be pointing towards the Kerbal Space Center and the other two satellites will be facing the Comsat 1. Here we see final adjustments made in the ComSat satellites and their orbits. In the tracking station, we see a successful launch. Now the next vehicle will be the Kuros-1. This is going to be an instrument satellite doing scientific research in Corbin orbit. So we're going to load it up with a bunch of scientific instruments. Now this vehicle is based on the real-life Tiros-1, so we're going to kind of copy its design. Here we see it launching. View from the whole can. This is going to be in a slightly different orbit. It's going to be in a 45 degree orbit. See the instruments there, and we see it aligning back in the Kerbal Space Center. Next satellite is going to be the GeoSat 1. This one's going to be observing Kerbin and its weather systems. So it has a scanning system in the front and a camera system to do observations on the weather systems on Kerbin. You receive the launch, the scene from the launch cam. And from the launch vehicle. And now this one's going to be in a polar orbit that allows it to see all parts of the Kerbin when it orbit several times. Meanwhile, the Kerbals have received news that there is a strange phenomenon happening in some other part of the Kerbal. So they developed a jet that Jebediah Kerman is going to pilot.
and he does indeed find something. So the Kerbals decide to send a spy satellite, try to get more visual observations of this strange phenomenon on the surface. It comes with new state-of-the-art camera systems and a new RCS system that will allow it to make very small changes along the orbit. Here's a view of its launch. Here's a sample of what it sees. However, it's not able to see the phenomenon that Jebediah Kern reported. So, of course, we're going to send a new camera system, which they're going to call the Curious 2. Could this be a secret space station set up by the Kerbians? So the Kerbkins launch a new satellite, which they are calling the Kuros-2, making it seem like a weather observation satellite. This camera is going to be much bigger and going to be able to make long distance observations. However, the engineers messed up and the optics aren't very good for observing things on Kerbin. However, with this new camera system, it's been able to take new high resolution images of Moon, Minimus, and also other planets in the Kerbal system. Now here are the final orbits of each of our satellites. Thank you guys for watching. The next campaign's video will be the Kerbinai program, where the Kerbals will send up more vehicles into space, rendezvous, and dock with each other. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys next time.